All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless me here talking about real music in real time for real people just like you right there and just like me. I uh, want to thank some new subscribers and also some new patrons coming on board. Apparently, we had to replace uh, some folks who left uh, right around uh, New Year's Day. So I want to appreciate uh, or recognize those people. Uh, thanks again. And if you want to subscribe, please do so. And if you'd like to join Patreon, just a buck a month at the very minimal. Of course, you could do more. That's up to you and your finances. I know things are a little difficult out there. Uh, Neil Sean, <laughs> who's been talking a lot lately, which is always good for business here at the RMO channel. Um, Neil Sean has laid into CNN. Uh, over their fake journey commentary uh, as uh, their host, what's his name, Cohen? I forget, somebody by the name of Cohen. You know, I don't watch CNN, so it's, um, it's difficult to follow. I know who Anderson Cooper is, and apparently this is Anderson Cooper's buddy. I will just leave it at that. Um, but anyway, this is what Neil Sean had to say. He said, yeah, everyone... Show up to work and continually pour yourself drinks till you're bleep faced and insulting everyone. <laughs> See how long that will work. By the way, they had the worst ratings ever. And ABC, when we played before the ball dropped, rated number one. Uh, LOL. So much for fake journey. Wow. Um, Neil Sean starting to sound like the former president of the United States, the one who was impugned yesterday for supposedly causing the greatest catastrophe in American history known as Insurrection Day, um, which is a bunch of BS, by the way, while I'm on the topic. But um, we heard all day long about how it was the worst thing since Pearl Harbor. Well, um, getting back to the topic at hand, uh, you got to give Neil some credit for defending his brand and his band. Um, he does make some points about ratings. Uh, he's over on ABC and a lot of people got to see Journey in concert. That's why I'm over here saying, hey, you really need to put your best foot forward. Look, it was under six minutes. There, there's only so much you can do in six minutes. And I will say this, I'm sure the adrenaline is flowing. Uh, Arnell is one of those guys who under pressure, I think, doesn't do well. He tends to, they're on, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame would be another occasion where people were scratching their heads a little bit uh, at the performance. And he shouldn't have been out there with Steve Perry in the audience. It's just so awkward and... Okay, he's not going into the Hall of Fame, but everybody else there kind of is going in, you know, and not a good circumstance to be in. And this is a three song medley, uh, you know, in hindsight, like I said, kind of started good. And then it, it kind of went downhill as it as it went along. That's how I uh, viewed it and heard it. But other people thought it went off. OK. And. Again, it's all Monday morning quarterbacking and stuff like that. Um, regardless, uh, most of the casual fans that had tuned in to hear all of this horrible music that was going on before Journey and most likely after Journey was at least treated to a real rock band for six minutes. So again, a huge victory for the melodic rock community. Uh, whereas most of the music now is all, you know, touchscreen and uh, Pro Tools. And it just it's just horrible, just really bad. So I think it's kind of funny, though, that Neil calls CNN out uh, for lousy ratings. <laughs> and, you know, we know that Neil was not a big fan of the last president of the United States, but certainly he has tapped into that obvious sentiment is that Nobody likes CNN. Nobody watches CNN. Why are they hosting New Year's? I get it on a major, uh, you know, legacy network like ABC. I get it. But 
CNN is supposedly a news channel. So why would you tune into a news channel uh, to, you know, ring in the new year with Andy Cohen, the drunk guy, and uh, his beau, Anderson Cooper, who, again, and, and it was initially said that Cohen was going to get a pink slip for this, but then they recanted on the pink slip because this is CNN, right? And they stand by uh, their really bad correspondence or whatever this guy is, although they didn't do uh, too much to stop what happened to Chris Cuomo. I guess he was in a little bit too deep there. But here's the deal. Nobody really cares about CNN. And Neil Sean uh, made his point. I think he made it quite well. So kudos to Neil. Um, the only thing I can say to Neil and um, his management team over there is you got to shore up the you got to shore up the boat. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to address some of these issues going into 2022. And if you're going to be out there touring, and by the way, gigs are getting canceled all over the place yet again, because of, you know what, the thing is back and the Dodge Omni is everywhere and people are freaking out and it's the end of the world as we know it. So I would say if you've got opportunities to do gigs, make the most of them. Another thing you need to do is probably make an announcement about Randy Jackson. Is he out? Just say he's out so people can move on because a lot of us initially were a little excited about that new rhythm section, but now it seems we've gone back to a completely different rhythm section. And I love Dean Castronovo on drums. Uh, Todd Jensen on bass, okay. But, you know, is he permanent? So uh, those things obviously need to be addressed. Uh, and I think that's probably it for now. I, again, I've made my suggestions about what they ought to do when it comes to lead singer. And um, I don't think anybody cares about what I have to say. So it's just me and a chorus of people. Some people are just like, why mess with this? It's too late. These guys should just keep going, finish off their career with this uh, lineup. I say, if you want to keep that ball rolling for a little while longer, say you want to do Journey for another three or four years. That's what I'm thinking. Three or four years tops. John Kane is in his 70s. Um, Neil is what, 67? I mean, how much longer do these guys want to do this? And again, you could hire a whole new band, a la Blood, Sweat, and Tears, and just sanction them to go out there and be Journey. Uh, and I don't really see a problem with that at this point, because here's the deal. When you're getting old and you can't do what you once did, uh, there's no shame in admitting that and just saying, you know what, can't do it anymore. I know the fans aren't going to like this. They probably want to see me more for nostalgia than the quality of the music that I'd be making. But, you know, it would be embarrassing for a lot of people to hear a band that just doesn't sound anything like the original, can't do what they're supposed to do vocally and musically. Um, so that's the way I'm starting to see things. I didn't used to see things that way. I used to say, well, this is a cover band. This is a tribute band. And now I'm kind of like, so what? Because if it gets that bad where, you know, you can't even recognize um, the band you once loved because they sound so different, then it's time to kind of rethink things. It's time to think outside the box. So that's my opinion on this. And again, you can make uh, plenty of money in your retirement as you skim uh, off of the, the proceeds or the profits for your sanctioned band out there on the road playing the music that you used to play and you don't have to go out on the road uh, you can sit back and enjoy uh, the beautiful view from your penthouse somewhere. And I'm thinking that's probably where Journey needs to go in the future. So that's just an opinion. And by the way, most of the geezer rock bands that I follow, most all of them have already pretty much done that. Look at Foreigner. I mean, Mick Jones isn't even showing up for a lot of gigs. It's a completely different lineup and uh, they call it Foreigner. Uh, and there are other bands that do this, uh, the Guess Who, Quiet Riot. 
they're all pretty much uh, completely revamped and uh, they don't have any original membership. And so that's the future if you're a fan of classic rock and older bands. Um, unless, of course, you've got a few freaks of nature out there like Paul Rogers and Mickey Thomas. And, but you still have to think someday all that's just going to have to stop. So in any event, that's my video. Neil Sean blasts CNN. It's really fun to watch. Anybody who blasts CNN, that's a, that's a really cool thing. So we applaud Neil for his blasting. And we hope he continues because it's uh, it's really fun to watch.